so we want to start with an update on a Brazoswood High School student who was in the ICU this afternoon after allegedly being attacked by another student at a party on Friday night. So this is a photo of Cole Hagen in his football uniform. A 17 year old has been charged with aggravated assault. Cole's family believes there were other teenagers involved in this too. ABC 13's Courtney Carpenter live outside of Lake Jackson Police Department with the very latest on this horrible case. Courtney. Yeah, the Lake Jackson Police Department confirms there are other charges pending, but so far no other arrests have been made. For now, the family of the victim, 16 year old Cole Hagen, while they're praying for his healing, they're also offering a $25,000 reward for a video they think may be out there that'll show exactly what happened. Devastating. As you can imagine, Corey Hagen is still wrapping his head around what happened to his 16 year old brother Cole on Friday night. Allegedly, he was lured out by some supposed people who were supposed to be his friends uh, out of a party. They had come up with this whole scheme to lure him out by himself um, and then attack him. Lake Jackson police say they were called to a home on Cherrywood Court after receiving a call about an assault around 1130 Friday night. So far, one arrest has been made. 17-year-old Reed Mitchell, a Brazoswood High School student who was on the football team with Cole, has been charged with aggravated assault. Allegedly, it was about a girl. Just complete senseless brutality. Cole is still in ICU. His brother says he suffered two skull fractures and a broken clavicle. And sadly, um, I think it's a long shot for him ever to play football again, which was one of his biggest passions. He's been robbed of a lot. The family is offering a reward for a video they believe will show what happened. Supposedly there's a video, so I, I went on and said, hey, I'll give you $1,000 if you bring the video. A lot of money to a high school kid. Um, and then I just, the support started rolling in. The reward is now up to $25,000. Ultimately, Hagen says he wants the people involved to be held accountable. The kids that planned this, the kids that instigated this, the kids that had something to do with it, watched it, left him in the road, yeah, they all need to be punished. Brazosport ISD is aware of the incident and they said that the student charged in this is not going to be on campus. They also said there would be extra police officers and counseling available for the other students today. A prayer vigil has been planned for Cole. It's set for this Wednesday at 630 at Freeport Community Park.